All right, 30 days to take out. We are here at University Gateway. We are waiting on Dylan's Caribbean Grill to come over here and serve us up some great cuisine. I cannot wait. I think that's them down there right now. So, in fact, that is them. I am standing right here saving a spot for them to come and we're gonna, we're gonna have some good food right now. They are parked and they are about to Everybody. open up. And we are about to eat. Who showed up? We got Mark LA in the house. 30 days to take out. And Mark, here we are. We're ready to enjoy some Dylan's Caribbean Grill. So we are getting rolling here at Dylan's Caribbean Grill. First customer here, Christian. What did you get, man? Uh, okay, I got the jerk chicken with uh, steamed rice and plantain. I also got another plate of jerk chicken with the coleslaw and fried chicken. Okay, cool, cool. We're ready. I'm excited. I am too. Well, we have a special guest appearance. Black Owned Food LA. Tiffany herself came out to, of course, support. Standing next to Dylan. So, what are you going to order, Tiffany? You know what? Everything looks so good. I mean, dirt chicken, curry, potato. Oh my God. Uh, I'm probably going to do You're going to do the same? What are you yeah. going to do the salmon? Yeah, I think so. But it looks so you can get a combo if you can't make up your mind. You know, you can get some shrimp, you can get some salmon, you can get some things on the same plate. Don't hurt me. Y'all know how I am. Y'all know how I love to say Lord. This is going to be There's a few things that's not even on the menu that we got. Dylan, you got a secret menu? We got lobster tails. What? Every restaurant has one. 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 And uh, that's one of, uh, that's a favorite. And we also have Caribbean red snapper. Oh you know, you can fry it, you can, you can steam it, you can escovitch it, you can grill it, you can put some okra and peppers on it, whatever you want it. You know? Oh, it's so much, it's so much. You're hitting me over the head, Dylan. You want me to take the whole truck with me? You can have some fun for the shrimp on the side. Four brown black mittens. I'll be back. Yeah, come on back and support. Let's go. Take out. Dylan's Caribbean Grill, standing next to the man himself, the man, the myth, the legend, all over DCLA. He's about to tell me what's in this juice right here. Okay, it's made by a Haitian guy, and uh, it's organic. It's got ginger, pineapple, honey, lemon, and water. It's very healthy and delicious. And I just met him the other day, and I'm so uh, impressed with his juice. I started drinking it, and now I carry them in the truck. Okay. And we got all flavors. My favorite is the one with no pineapple. And no honey. It's really good. This one is good too, but if you like sweet, that's what it's for. I love sweet. Exactly. Sweet, tangy, and tasty. Mm -hmm. That's very delicious, man. It's like I'm eating a popsicle. <laughs> He's got his order here. Oh, shit. Wow. That's the jerk that chicken. So good. What else did you get? Let's see. Let's see. Oh wow, what is this? Jerk chicken, Same fried thing. pickles, and coleslaw. Let's go. All right. All right, Aubrey, what did you get? We got the cheeseburger with the fries. Okay. And then, wait for it, wait for it. We got the pig chicken with Ooh, the steamed rice. Oh, look at that. These all. More of the popular with some french fries some more some jerk rice. chicken okay my order is coming up it's my turn now so my order is up i got jewel right here the first run in the food truck so what did i get what is so it? first up you got the upship special and we call it the upship special because it started at a brewery in el segundo called upship brewing so it's topped with fries pulled pork and deep fried pickles and we drizzle honey barbecue sauce on top and next up, we have one of our most popular proteins, which is the jerk chicken. We sometimes we make our own jerk sauce, and it's with steamed cabbage and fried sweet plantains. And with the cabbage, it's steamed with carrots, peppers, and onions. And next, we have wings and fries. Over this Ooh. side over here is honey barbecue, and this side is jerk, it's really spicy, and it's with our house-made jerk sauce and fries. You know, basically, um, I've been going under the name of Caribbean Grill, and I've did a few other businesses in the 
fast and I decided to do something personal with my name as a name brand. Everybody knows me that you know that eat my food, they know me as Dylan, so it's a way of you know putting myself out there so they can see what I got going on. And uh, it's all about quality and taste. You know, so as long as you come and anybody can come here and get a free sample, first time sample, they can a free taste. And I'm quite sure after you taste it, you're gonna want to buy some. How long have you had the food truck for? This is a new food truck. Okay. Um, just before COVID set in. Were you a storefront and then transitioned to a food truck or a little of both? A little of both. Okay. A little of both. Okay. You know, I explore partnership and work, it works great, but I decided to do something else in addition. You know, and um, it's working. Uh, considering the situations and, and the today's what's going on today, it's just working really good. And uh, everybody is happy with what I do and uh, money back guarantee satisfaction. You can come face, like I said, whatever you want, anytime. And um, yeah, it's doing it pretty good. Is this family owned recipes passed down through the generations or is this something you went to school for? To... No, it's, um, it's learning over the years. Okay. I started at least the first restaurant I ever worked for was called Happy Hour Restaurant. A lot of people wouldn't know about that because that's back in the 70s. And um, after that I came to LA and I started working with my brother Stone, Stone Jamaican. I worked with him for many years at the restaurants and uh, doing concerts, Bob Marley show, we go up north this year in Nevada World Music Festivals. I've been there, done that with a lot of festivals. And um, I learned a lot from him, I learned a lot from the Happy Hour business. And with me, uh, I put that together with my own twist. What do you recommend for the first time person who's never tried your food? What do you recommend? Well, I recommend, it depends. If you're a seafood lover, I recommend the grilled salmon. Mm -hmm. With, um, with, um, you know, teriyaki, grilled salmon with teriyaki or garlic butter shrimp. If you want something spicy, go for the jerk with the rice and beef and plantains. You know, if you want, um, if you want something new, we got the full pork uh, sandwich. And we got something that's loaded called a loaded fries. You can put, um, you can put uh, a lobster tail, you can put a steak, and you can put shrimp on it. And you can do a full, you can go all the way. So for someone tasting your food, what do you want them to taste about your cuisine? Um, what goes into it? What do you put in it? Any? I know you don't want to share all your ingredients and your recipes, but just it as your basic. It's okay. Basically fresh. Okay. So all my meats are fresh. Mm -hmm. I, I don't keep food overnight. Whatever I don't use for the day, I'm not going to use tomorrow. So I get everything fresh from the day, and uh, all my burgers make the order. I okay. Use frozen patties. You know, so if you want a burger, you can try my burger. It's really fresh and it's reasonable. You know, you can get a good burger meal for five dollars. You know, and uh, other than that, you could uh, try the um, the wings. The wings is a very favorite for a lot of people. And you got three different uh, toppings. You can put on um, the, the jerk, you can put the hot, and you can do the um, regular spicy wing. Or you can get them naked. Yeah, whatever way you like it, whatever side you like. You know, that's basically more or less. Going on, and one of the favorite sides for me is my plantain. I love plantain, and some people never tried it before. And after they try it, they love it too. You know, some people try, it. and this is a pretty new for me: the pickle. Okay. And the jalapenos. We fry those. Those are very delicious. Talking about COVID-19, I know everybody's having to pivot and transition. How has it affected you in terms of your business? Has it affected getting your supply to provide great ingredients and great taste for the people who enjoy your food? The supply is uh, is good. The prices have changed. With the meat markets shutting down and stuff, the meat got a little expensive, but it's going back to normal. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, everything else is easy to get. I go to Costco and Jetco to get my supplies from the wholesale providers. And so it's not a problem getting supplies. You just have to have time to get in line. Yeah. <laughs> What other locations are you at? I mean, you're a food truck, you go everywhere, but are there popular places that you go to frequently that... Yes, I, yeah. I, I frequent the Upshift Brewery, which is in El Segundo. Okay. It's closed right now because all the restaurants and bars are closed. But I'm usually there three, four days out of the week. And I go in the valley, uh, some valley where the, the MTA station is at. I yes. The MTA driver. I know where that is. And um, 
I service the hood, my neighborhood is around here, in Los Angeles. I've been around here a couple times and I'm over there in, uh, on uh, the Western, you know. So I, I'll service wherever you want me to be. If you want me to pull up somewhere, just let me know ahead of time, DM, and I'll be there. Like what we did here at University Gateway. I hit him up, he pulled up, and here we are talking to him. Are there any shout outs, any last words you wanna, you gotta speak from the heart, Dylan. Shout out to all my good customers that have been supporting me. And I love him and see him again. For sure. Thanks a lot for coming out. I appreciate this. Wanted to show some support. I'm glad you came, Dylan. Thanks for coming out. I'm glad you had me, man. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you. All right. Now it's time to bite into the jerk chicken. Let me tell you about this piece. It's very nice. It goes right where it needs to go. We are wrapping it up here at Dylan's Caribbean Grill. Shout out to Dylan, shout out to Jewel, coming out to see me, bring in their wonderful taste of Caribbean cuisine. Oh my God, everything just kicked. It was fire. You definitely got to support. You have got to look out for Dylan. He will pop up on you. All you gotta do is just call him and he'll pop up, just like he did today. So once again, shout out to Dylan, shout out to Jewel. I love the food, and we are gonna do this again. Right, Dylan? We're gonna do this again, right? <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much, Jewel. You're welcome. Nice meeting you again. Nice meeting you again. Some food this time, right? Hey, man. Hey. Come on, you gotta get something for later. There we go, there we go. We got some jerk chicken. I love this salad. <laughs> Come and get it! Hey! I love the bike, man. Spreading love and joy, that's what's up. That's it, that's the only way to go. What happened to eating? <laughs> Get a 